film batch dosimeter. Film batch dosimeter is like that. We have a photographic film, okay, in light proof cover. So this is exactly the photographic films that you use to take photo. But nowadays, I think most of you use digital cameras. You do not use photographic films anymore. Eh? So this photographic films, it contains uh, uh, these uh, chemicals, silver bromide. Okay, silver bromide. Now when this silver bromide is exposed to uh, light, okay, silver bromide exposed to light, exposed to uh, uh, X-ray, exposed to uh, alpha, beta, gamma emissions, uh, okay, the silver bromide will turn dark. It will become black. Initially is uh, gray, uh, gray. So if it exposed, then it will become dark, okay. So we have this a photographic film, but it's light proof means that it's covered by something so that uh, it's not exposed to light. So if it's not exposed to light, means that it's gray, light gray in color, light gray in color. Okay. So we put it inside here. It's very small. Eh? It's very small. Just maybe this one just two cm, two cm three, uh, maybe two three cm. I think it's three cm, five cm. Okay. It's very small. Okay. If you, you are the one who using this, uh, then this is your name here, okay? You put your name here, okay? And then you wear it, okay? Uh, you sometimes wear it uh, at the hand here, okay? Or in front of the chest. It's very small, okay? And then so here we have uh, aluminum filter and lead filter, okay? Aluminum filter and lead filter. And the first one has no filter. Uh, so you wear it when you go to work at the conditions where you have chance to expose to radioactive like in a nuclear plant okay in nuclear plant you can't see radioactive okay you can't see radioactive uh, but uh, maybe okay maybe there are radioactive emissions around you you don't know so you wear the badge so when you wear the badge and then you go to work uh, when it, it's uh, in the evenings okay when you want to go home then you surrender this to the lab Okay, you surrender this to the lab and then the lab will process the film to see whether the film turned dark or not. If the film turned dark, means that you are exposed to radioactive. If the film is still uh, light gray, means that uh, you are safe. So that is the use of this uh, film batch dosimeter. Okay. The advantage of it is it can be carried around easily because it's very small, very light. Okay, you just can, you can wear it in front of your chest or any parts of your body and then we have this aluminum filter and lead filter okay uh, this is to this is to tell whether you exposed to uh, beta or gamma usually not alpha okay alpha can only move a few cm in air okay so usually even though it can be used to detect alpha okay but usually usually so we do not use it to de detect alpha because alpha usually you you won't you won't be uh the, the alpha particles, uh, okay, is not come from, uh, the radiation is not come from outside. Unless you eat something that contains alpha that go into your body, okay? Or else, uh, uh, it, it do no harm to you. So normally it's alpha, be, uh, just beta and gamma, okay? Then so if it's uh, both beta and gamma, okay? Both beta and gamma, then you can see that this area, this area turn dark, this area also turn dark. And this one may be just uh, darker, okay? Just darker, this one turn darker. If you have uh, beta and gamma, okay? Beta and gamma. If there is just just beta, eh? just beta, then these two area, these two area uh, is still light, light gray, okay? And only this area turn dark. Because beta can only pass through this area. So to make this area become dark, okay? So this area, the beta cannot pass through. The beta cannot pass through, so it cannot uh, it cannot turn, change the colors of this uh, photographic film. If uh, we have beta and gamma, uh, then the whole films will turn dark. With this area, maybe just uh, lighter than the other area. So, uh, so the persons in the lab, okay, it, it process the films again, okay, and then it study the patterns of the film. Then, then, uh, then he or she will know whether you are you exposed to radioactive or not. So all the alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma ray can be detected by using photographic films. Eh? And the ionizing effects by the radioactive rays will 
decompose the silver bromide crystals on the film. Okay. So films are kept in the badges worn by workers as a tracer device of radioactive rays. Uh, radioactive rays. Okay. So th this only used uh, for the workers that's uh, potentially exposed to radioactive.